Located in North Central Pennsylvania and founded in 1806 by Michael Ross and William Hepburn, Williamsport is small by city standards but is packed to the brim with culture, things to do, and history. In the city's early days, it was primarily used as a lumbering center. As time went on, however, the city began to expand its horizons and started to produce numerous different goods like food, furniture, and metal. While much has changed since the 1800s, the heart and soul of the city still remains, and we'll now begin our tour of Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Here's the City Hall Grand Hotel. This beautiful building once acted as Williamsport's City Hall in the 19th century. It has since been renovated and restored so that visitors of the city and history buffs alike can appreciate the interior and exterior architecture of the building. The old City Hall even had a visit from Mark Twain in 1869. The new City Hall rests a few blocks away from the old one, and while the architecture may not be as breathtaking this time around, it is still a beautiful building. In addition to having two town halls, Williamsport also houses two courthouses. The federal courthouse is housed a block from the current town hall. Go down the street a few blocks and you'll find the district court. A couple blocks away from the City Hall Hotel, you'll find the James V. Brown Library, which has been serving Williamsport since 1907. Williamsport is also home to two colleges, the Pennsylvania College of Technology as well as Lycoming College. The Pennsylvania College of Technology offers degrees in a variety of different areas, including business, hospitality, automotive, and even nursing. Lycoming College also offers a variety of different areas of study, including sociology, Spanish, theater, religion, astronomy, and other liberal arts studies. Williamsport is more than just government buildings, schools, and libraries, however. In fact, if there is one thing the city is, it's a baseball city. Williamsport is world known for the foundation of Little League Baseball in 1939. While the concept started local, Little League has crossed borders and became a worldwide phenomenon that is celebrated each year. Here I have some footage of the first Little League baseball field that was used. Across from the birthplace of Little League is BB&T Ballpark, home to Williamsport's own minor league baseball team, the Crosscutters. While unfortunately the park is currently closed off for the 2020 season, normally there would be thousands of fans cheering on their favorite local team. On the other side of the Susquehanna River, in the South Williamsport, is the facility that holds the annual Little League World Series. Late summer each year, with the exception of 2020, the stadium is packed with people from all around the world who are coming together to celebrate their love for baseball. There's an eerie vibe that is given off, walking through the empty stadium, knowing that there should be foot traffic all around. If you do a visit during an active year and want to learn more, or even get a souvenir, a gift shop resides at the top of the facility. If baseball isn't your thing, downtown Williamsport is also home to many local shops, restaurants, and creative arts centers. The Uptown Music Collective has the goal of educating middle school and high school students in a variety of musical arts. They hold shows often at either the Community Arts Center or the Community Theater League. Both of these theater buildings also hold shows throughout the year for adults and kids alike. In Brandon Park, there is also a band show where the Uptown Music Collective will from time to time hold their concerts. Other events are often held at the band show throughout the year. Down the main streets of the city, you'll find a variety of community restaurants and bars to choose from. Mexican, Italian, and Asian cuisine can be found all throughout Williamsport. Shops also line the streets, offering jewelry, books, clothes, you name it. If you are in the mood for something quick and simple though, East 3rd Street, or as the locals call it, the Golden Strip, is home to a variety of fast food chains and is located about a mile from downtown. If eating and shopping still doesn't amuse you, there are also plenty of outdoor activities that can be done in Williamsport. The city takes advantage of being located along the Susquehanna River and offers boat rides on the Hiawatha, a paddlewheel river boat that will take you up and down the river. Some locals prefer to ride their own boats though and have fun on the water during a hot summer day. One of the big advantages of Williamsport being located where it is, is that there are plenty of accessible and gorgeous hiking spots that are not far from the city that any nature lover will come to admire. Some of the best views I've seen in my life have been in Williamsport.
Williamsport may be a small city, but it certainly has a personality that can't be contained. It's a wonderful place to explore and get to know, and I'm glad that I had the joy of doing so.